It's quiet out here when you're here alone, and you're usually here alone. The night sky is a box. You hid your problems inside, then jumped in after them, hoping the sky would dye your skin the color of ink and just let you fade into the background. Just let your problems blend into you as if your problems weren't already a part of you. Now no one can quite tell the two apart. You swear you tripped into the box. Your whole life has always been like you are falling, but I have seen you stare at your naked body in a mirror. You smash the glass with your eyes, make incisions on your skin, marking yourself with your mind, showing yourself all the parts you would cut away if you could. Like dead trees from a forest dressed in orange X's, your legs are as thick as trunks and they're beginning to quiver. You've never been good at rooting yourself anywhere. All around you, the soil tastes sour to you. You have never found a sweet enough spot to flourish. Maybe you're just too picky. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. I've seen you stare at yourself. You didn't trip into the box. You pushed yourself, flung yourself in head first, searching for sweeter soil. With shards of mirrors for eyes, you saw only the broken reflection of the world around you, never the real thing. You sit in the sky, smiling only to yourself, telling yourself this is happiness. This is what makes life worth living. You build castles in the sand knowing you won't be long before the waves. And sometimes you wish they'd swallow you too and that you could drown. Not forever, but just for a moment so you could jump out of your skin and finally come face to face with your monster. Look it in empty eyes and tell it you are so much more that it can't define you, and that it doesn't decide your happiness. Tell your monster you own it. It doesn't own you. Then slip it back on. Feel the skin on your bones. Let every particle pull on you, proving gravity works. Run your fingers over the bumps and ridges that make this canvas your own. Kiss your hands and tell the monster you love it. Hand over hand, foot over foot. This box was never really a prison, but a vessel. Your ship. Sit on the edge and stare out at the horizon, right where the ocean meets the sky. Now you can't quite tell the two apart. That reminds you of something, but you can't exactly put your finger on what it is. And that makes you laugh. And your laugh fills all the empty space around you. It's the silence like honey nut Cheerios. And your laugh is always hungry, which is good because it's quiet out here when you're here alone and you're usually here alone.